this video, I would like to show you where whitetails bed in the mountains. It can be difficult to find them, but it can really pay off if you find where a mature buck is bedding so you can hunt closer to him and increase your odds of getting him. This big mountain buck that I've been hunting has been bedding on this shelf right here. And what he's doing is he's getting on this shelf and he is he is facing downward down this big ridge. This shelf is on almost the top of this big ridge, but behind me and behind the shelf is just this big bluff and it's got some thick stuff up there too. But he's keeping his back kind of toward that and he's facing down so he can smell what's ever down there and so he can also see whatever's down there. And this is just a great place. I mean, it's not very thick here, it's pretty wide open, but I've seen a lot of big mature mountain bucks bed in little spots like this. In this next clip, I was hunting really late in the season. There was only a day or two left of the season to hunt. And I decided to push the envelope and go to where this big buck was bedding. Um, I'm usually really conservative, you know, earlier in the season. I don't like to go where they bed, but when it's that late in the season and I've got a tag left, I try to push the envelope and go into where he's bedding and I try to kill him. So anyways, I jumped a good buck up. Um, I walked around the ridge and I was trying to make a little bit of noise while I was walking and while I was doing it I was grunting just like this so I kept walking and doing that and I backed up against a tree and he come running down to me within bow range um, it wasn't it wasn't a monster but I got to see it and you know it's kind of hard to get a shot on it I was bow hunting and it was kind of in some thick stuff but it was cool to have seen that I found exactly where he was bedding at, literally right on the side of this big bluff. I just jumped one out of bed right here. And it's literally on the edge of this cliff. It's literally like a cliff here, it's just rocky. And uh, they love bedding on places like this. I've always noticed something about, you know, a lot of mature bucks in the big woods is, or anywhere for that matter, is they like to bed and put something up against them like they'll have their back towards something like a big bluff or a tree but in the mountains they really like to bed up on little shelves and kind of up on next to bluffs and, and next to thickets and next to trees like this i've been walking since 10 a.m it's 2 30 now just doing some summer scouting i found this buck bed as you can see it was kind of backed up a little bit next to this rock and it's kind of facing downhill. This shows what the terrain looks like where I find buck beds. In this next clip, I go turkey hunting and scouting late spring to visit where a mature mountain buck beds, and I was hoping that I could find his sheds. Up here in the North Georgia mountain this morning and decided to come to this big buck's bedding area, come see if I could find his sheds. You can see where he's just absolutely laid everything down on the ground where he's bedded here so much he can see everything below him and also everything behind him this particular buck had about four different big poplar trees he was bedding against they were all about 15 yards away from each other he had some historical rubs close by him as well Does bed a lot differently than bucks in the mountains do. A lot of times I'll find does bedded on the tops of ridges and it'll be pretty open where they're bedded at and they can pretty much see all around them. And I also find them bedded on finger ridges a lot and they'll be on the very tops of it. And typically I'll find where the does will bed really close to trails. And a lot of those trails that I find on the very tops of ridges are usually from does or young bucks. When I find a doe bed, I can usually look pretty close by and find another small bed or two, and that's from the fawns bedding close to the doe. In the rut, I have found where a doe has bedded down, and I look around her bed and find about 5 to 10 yards behind her will be a buck bed. There have been several times I have smelled the buck where they bedded. That can tell you he has been there pretty recently. If you have trouble telling if you're looking at a deer bed, 
get in the bed and see if there is any deer hair in it. That can help you determine it wasn't a small bear or hog. A lot of times where I find where a mountain buck will bed, I'll find rubs all around it. Um, in the summertime, if I find a buck bed, typically I'll find at least one or two big historical rubs around it. So that's kind of something you can look out for when you're trying to find a big mountain buck bed. Thank you so much for watching. Part 3 will be coming up soon.